taking the derivative of y equals cosine x over x to the seventh, and we could bring the, make this times x to the negative seventh and do chain rule, but I think this is going to be just as easy to use our quotient rule. So quotient rule says, start off with the denominator left alone, times the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x minus, now we leave the numerator alone, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 7x to the 6, just a basic power rule, all over the denominator squared, x to the 7th squared. Um, we'll see what kind of simplifying we can do here. For example, um, we can pull out a fact, six factors of x from each of these terms. So we can write an x to the 6th out front. And that would leave us with the first term being negative x sine x. We only pulled out six x's, so we still have one left here. Minus, we pulled all six of them out of here, but we do still have the seven left, so minus seven cosine of x. And an exponent, then being raised to the other ex next exponent, we multiply. So this is basically x to the 14th in the denominator. And now we can cancel six of the x's from the top, the six of them on bottom. And so our simplified derivative is negative x sine x minus 7 cosine x all over x to the 8th.